Hello friends. Unhappy day 18. Let's get ourselves into a comfortable position. Yes, it's cold here. So I told you guys I'm going to be wearing a hat like all the time. <laughs> I know it's cold. Maybe where you're at, maybe not. I don't know. So, uh, all right, get ourselves in a comfortable position. Take a few deep breaths to get yourself settled in physically and mentally. And just tuning out anything else that's going on around you. Our meditation today is called Observe Yourself. Watch yourself. And that's not a grim disclaimer. It's a call to observe yourself and it is a helpful tool on the journey. When you get stuck in a behavior, stuck in a pattern, stuck in a place, a thought, a feeling, a job or relationship and you don't know how to get unstuck, watch yourself. When you've tried everything you know and your feelings and old ways of reacting still come to the forefront, even when you don't want them to, and especially when you've made an effort to do things differently, watch yourself. When it feels hopeless, when it seems things will never change or shift, when you can't help yourself and it doesn't look like those around you can either look at yourself. The act of watching ourselves, neutrally observing ourselves without judgment can be a powerful tool for change. If you've tried and tried to change, but it hasn't worked, then watch yourself. Watch what you say, what you think, how you feel, how you act, and how you react. Don't try to stop yourself and don't judge. Just observe. Do it as long as you need to, although it might not take very long. Watch yourself, then watch how you grow and change. Hmm. Observe yourself. Just add in our journal prompt since I'm down here. Our journal prompt for today is going to be just that. Maybe observing yourself and then somewhere throughout the day or while it's happening, maybe jotting down or just taking notice of your thoughts, of the things that you say and do, and just shedding a little bit of light on those and maybe noticing what maybe needs to change. Is it your thoughts? Is it things that you say or things that you do or don't do? And our pose tonight to help with that is chair pose. Uh, some of my clients would say, because I typically make everybody do squats to some degree, uh, because squats mimic so much of our daily activity, like getting in and out of a chair, in and out of bed, in the car, on, off the toilet, you know? So uh, my clients all do some, usually some sort of variation of a squat. and. Uh, they, they tease me and say that, that chair in yoga is, uh, is like a squat that you hold and it is a little bit. Uh, it's not my favorite one, I will say. It's challenging to hold it, but I want you to think about uh, just some awareness in that pose and what is it about chair pose that maybe makes you a little resistant. So you can also take this through a flow. So I'll just show you what the pose looks like and then we'll go into a little flow maybe. So feet are about hip distance apart. Hands can be at heart center. You're gonna shift and push the hips back. You're placing your pressure into the feet and your hands, like I said, can be here. You can open it up. Sometimes I like to do power chair arms to open up the chest. You don't wanna be too far forward. You can be up higher, but I really want you to think about pressing through the heels pushing the booty back, right? You can have traditional chair arms. You could be at heart center and do a little bit of a flow versus holding. This could be a 
considered more of like a energizing flow through chair can be just as challenging going up and down. Although for me, I would say it's harder to hold. So give it a try, my friends. Have a great rest of your day. Sending my love.